Mirko here from Fair Realty. Today I'm talking about Truss Uplift, uh, which I've dealt with uh, quite a few times in my career. So first of all, what is it behind me? You can see uh, see a black mark. Uh, that black mark is actually the ceiling and uh, wall drywall separating as a result of the truss lifting on an interior wall of a home. Uh, this is actually quite common. It's not a structural problem. Uh, it's not a drywall problem. It's a physics problem caused by increased moisture in the winter time, which causes uh, trusses to expand and lift uh, over interior walls. It's basically a physics problem uh, at the end of the day, and uh, a lot of people panic uh, when they see it. There, there's no need to panic about it. It's uh, something that's going to occur uh, every year. Uh, as the wood expands and contracts in the summertime when the weather is warmer. There is a way uh, to get around uh, this type of problem though and without going in all, into all the details basically uh, don't screw the drywall into the truss uh, within 16 inches of an interior wall. Either float the drywall or use wall clips to secure the drywall and then you can use these anchors that allow the truss to move uh, up and down as it uh, shrinks uh, and expands. So it, if you use proper uh, construction uh, techniques, uh, there is a way to get away from uh, seeing the cosmetic effects of uh, truss uplift uh, in Victoria, BC. That's it for this week. Marco Giras, Fair Realty.